fans, do you want to win your share of $100,000? Simply enter the houseofboxing.com fight night prediction challenge. Compete with boxing fans around the world. Simply head over to houseofboxing.com and sign up now. Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Tommy Fury is enjoying a five guys. He's trying to wash the burger down. Um, a victory over KSI, just your immediate reaction. So much going on here. Hold on, right, so, my immediate reaction to that sore losing piece of shit is that he should change his attitude because he's a very sore loser. You know, I come to his own show tonight, it was his promotion, everything was against me, the referee also, and I come out and got the win. But I want to thank the judges for scoring it as um, how it should have been. And I want to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Saviour, for this victory, because without him, none of this would be possible. Tommy, when you had that point deducted, what was going through your head? It was sort of, there was a lot of clinching that was going on, KSI not warned once, you yeah. always the one getting the warning. Were you, saying. in your head as the fight's going on, are you sort of starting to worry that you're going to get the wrong end? Um, yeah, I mean, it's always a worry, um, but again, you know, we kind of knew that. You know, KSI didn't get a warning for nothing, and he was holding the whole fight. Yeah, I had one offence hit him around the back of the head, you know, once or twice. Um, but KSI never got warned for nothing, and he was hitting me behind the back of the head, and he was holding for dear life. But at the end of the day, I knew I was coming to that. You know, when you fight these guys on their own shows, you're fighting on their own shows, referees included, everything's for them. So at the end of the day, a win is a win, and a walk out as a winner. We're ten and zero, and again, thank you, Jesus Christ. What did you make of the whole fight week and the build up? Like you say, everything sort of on his terms. It is a misfits promotion, of course. Um, yeah, what, what did you make of the whole experience? Sorry, mate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the whole promotion, listen, as a whole, the show was amazing. Um, Sold out Manchester Arena, hometown. I want to thank the whole of the crowd tonight that, that come out for attendance. Show me a lot of love. And I did it for Manchester, my hometown. I grew up 10 minutes from the arena. You know, I had my first professional flight there. I've come back and I've got a win sold out, headlined, all at 24. You made some comments afterwards. Um, a few people in the industry knew it probably wasn't the easiest camp you've ever experienced. Um, going into fight week, any nerves knowing that sort of, for example, the right hand, etc. Listen, at the end of the day, during camp, the right hand was out of play for five weeks. I'm not an excuse maker at all. There's a lot going up to the build-up with Jake Paul. But did I mention it? No, I'm not an excuse maker. But the right hand was out of out of play for five weeks. Anybody will tell you that. I was in doctors, everything. You know, so a lot went on. That's why I got a bit emotional afterwards because, you know, look at the right hand now. Like, it's absolutely gone. You know, so um, there was a lot going on to the build-up with this. But, again, I overcome it all. And... It's all experience, and it takes it takes a man with some good mental strength to overcome that. At the end of the day, listen, I tried, uh, I tried, and I fought my best out, and I got the win tonight. Tell me just quickly, where does this rank in terms of sort of career and life experiences? This is at the top. I mean, that walk out tonight, that ring walk will stay with me for, until I die. It was the best atmosphere ever, and it wouldn't have been possible without the people of Manchester. So I want to thank them very much, and I did it for Manchester. What's next in the boxing career of Tommy Fury? I don't know. We're going to sit. Hold on, mate. I'm sorry about this, but I... <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You're making the video longer, so... You put some more ads in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, what's next in the career? Listen, like I said, we're going to take a break now. Enjoy, enjoy time with the family and my baby because I've been away from them for three months now. And it's hard on them. I want to thank Molly for being a superstar mother. Um, she's honestly the best mother to Bambi. While I've been gone, she just lets me solely concentrate on the boxing. No stress. And that's the type of woman you need. Um, and in terms of going forward, we're going to get around the table. I'm going to see what's there. But like I said before, you know, Conor McGregor said he wanted the winner of this fight. And if Conor wants to share the ring, I'm happy. And there's man. I'm open to it. Any time, any place, whatever weight he wants. Not interested. Um, because it will be an honour to share the ring with him. And I think it would be a, a great build-up, especially with my dad involved. And I think, um, I think it'd be a great fight. Tommy Fury, well said. Thank you for speaking you. to us at Boxing Social. Just a final message to your fans and supporters. I want to thank everybody in the city of Manchester. You have my heart tonight. Without you, it wouldn't have been possible. And guys, we've done it. Manchester showing the Londoners how we roll.